What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Um, on today's video, we are having a look at these MN models, specifically this one. This is the really expensive one that's got the full metal chassis i'm gonna put this one up against this really cheap mn96 that i got i got this off amazon for 25 dollars it's like 20 pound in the uk or 19 25 dollars you it'd be really pushed to find another one for that price these usually go for around between 40 and 60 dollars i think but still the, compared to the price of that one this one is really cheap so on today's video, I'm going to take them out, give them a quick run over a trail, see how this one performs compared to the cheap, ready to run, straight out of the box one. The MN96, I wasn't a fan of all the um, cage and all the military stuff on it, so I've kind of made it my own. I think, I think it looks really nice. Uh, but like I mentioned, completely stock, other than the Faye FY004 tires these are my favorite wheels and tires so i've just stuck them on but they're not much different to the stock ones as far as grip and stuff goes and then on the expensive one i was going to swap the wheels over so it was fairer i was going to put some off-road wheels because it's got like not very good not very um off-roady if that's a word <laughs> uh, tires so uh, i left them on because that's how it came. Now I've put an MN99S body on it. It's also got the lights out of the MN99S, so you'll get indicators and stuff like that. They're both running the same battery. So both running the same battery. I've already been out and run them, hence why they're a bit dirty and wet. So I know how they performed, but I'm not gonna tell you. I'm gonna let you watch the video. Now, before we watch the video, I'm just gonna stick them on the scales. Uh, put the heavyweight on and see how much more it weighs than this one. Just again, for a bit of comparison. So we'll put the uh, stock one on first. Let's zero it out there. Stock weight is with battery. Oh, there. Stock weight with battery is 914 grams. So you can see that. 914. Not actually as much as I thought. Uh, 1.3, say so 1,323 grams. You're getting onto close to half a kilo difference. It actually, when you hold them in your hand, they feel considerably, this one feels a lot heavier, but the scales don't lie. Well, they do when I stand on them. But uh, <laughs> anyway, let's go over to the video. It's a horrible day out there, guys. The wind's okay, but uh, it was just rainy and not very nice. But anyway, let's go to the video. Let's see how they get on. Just to note as well, I've got an issue with this one. I've been through water with this in the past and the throttle is no real low end. The stock ones, usually they're pretty good, whereas this is a little bit, you'll see, it's a little bit jerky, but it still runs enough to give you a good comparison between the two. Anyway, let's watch the video. So we're gonna start with the MN96. The cheapy is going first. It's gonna set the scene. We're gonna get the little trail going. Let me see if the expensive one can actually do the same. It's a little bit jerky on takeoff, but we'll work with it. Should still give us an idea of how capable it is, but yeah, it doesn't like going too slow, this one. But you can see straight out of the box, they're not that bad. Not quite enough power to pull through there. Come on, there we go. I'm gonna try and do the same route so it's fair on both. I may do slightly different routes if I forget, but I will try. Right, that's not gonna work.
We'll come through this way instead. Might struggle a bit on here because of that lack of low end throttle that I was mentioning. That's where I uh, went through some water last time I had this out, but I reckon we'll be all right. And then we'll loop all the way around and then we'll come back over this way. A little bit of a mud run. And then up and over this to finish. So not too bad, it's a shame I've got that uh, low end throttle issue, but not too bad and we did manage to do it. So let's go and get the big heavyweight, expensive one. Let's see how that one does. And it hasn't got these tires. Right, so this time we've got the low end control, but we just haven't got the grip. Uh, like I explained earlier, I was gonna change the wheels over, but this is how it comes. So let's run it like this. Anyway, let's see how this thing gets on. So that slow control instantly makes this better. But are we gonna have an issue with grip? Wow. <laughs> well, well. Impressed by them tyres so far, we're going to take a slightly more difficult route because I think this has got that bit more power. Yeah. I think I might have underestimated this one. Whoa. That 370 mode with a reduction box, the tyres, yeah, they're not ideal, but imagine what this would be like with decent tyres on it. Loads of nice control. Yeah, it's a bit of weight there, keeps rolling. Not got the best turning circle. <laughs> In press. Through the mud. Up and over here. Not got loads of flex. This is stock though. And moving them shocks, doing a few mods will give you more flex on this. Guys, I'm really impressed. <laughs> Crap steering. He's 
tyres actually they grip quite well. Whoa. Come on. Ah. Well, I did not expect it to go that well. I'm actually really impressed with this. Little few mods it needs, we need to sort that flex out. It's a little bit heavy, it rolls over, the steering's a little bit crap, but you can extend that steering arm there. Overall, I'm actually really impressed with this. And I've got the WPL version of this chassis as well. It's a few slight differences, different bumper, different wheels, better off-road tires. I'm gonna modify that one, and I'm gonna show you what these chassis can really do, because I am super impressed. Loads of control, um, and the tires gripped. So anyway, cheers for watching. Look out for the WPL one, but I do rate this, it's not cheap, but didn't give me any issues, and it's definitely, and it definitely performs better than a stock out the box one. Obviously you can modify the stock out the box ones, but definitely if you've got a bit of spare cash lying around, maybe worth a look. Cheers for watching, I'll see you next time.